Question number se seven, Pesata Sam Lodawina. Order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question. Order. I've called Pesata Sam Lodawina. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social Development. What initiatives in Budget 2013 provide further support for families on low incomes? Mr. Speaker. Honourable Paula Bennett. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, a lot. Uh, there are a number of initiatives that are actually addressing um, support for families on low incomes, and we have a strong record after, over the last four and a half years of targeting assistance to those that really need support the most. In Budget 2013, we announced a vast programme of initiatives and policies targeted to vulnerable and low-income families, and particularly those with children. These initiatives um, will target providing an extra one point $5 million for budgeting services, partnering with community to establish microfinancing loans and providing better value by procuring whiteware. Supplementary question, Pesata Sam Lotterwinger. Supplementary question to the Minister. How will the Government's microfinancing initiative make a difference for families? Mr Speaker, Honourable Paula Bennett. a real issue of concern within our communities is the financial difficulties some families get into, resulting in unsustainably high debt. We are looking into a microfinancing initiative where community-based organisations provide low or no interest loans to people with debt or who cannot access affordable credit, and also looking at whether or not we consolidate the loans of those that have been at the hands of loan sharks. Pesata Sam Lotterwinger. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Further supplementary to the Minister. How will the Whiteware Procurement Initiative provide better value for both beneficiaries and taxpayers? Mr Speaker. Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, what we currently see is that uh, tax taxpayers pay out about $10.6 million a year on whiteware for beneficiaries. Um, that, of course, has to be paid back by them. They more often than not buy a second-hand poor-quality machine. It breaks down relatively quickly. They're then stuck in a situation of either having to get it repaired or get another one while they're still paying off the first one. This procurement means they can get a new machine for probably around the same cost that gives them a warranty and certainty that at least what they've got is of a high quality. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the Minister. Is it academic to measure a problem and set a target to reduce it, as she has claimed via interjection in question time today? If so, has she told that to her colleague Tony Rowell? Or has she told that to Hekia Parata? Or, in fact, all of her colleagues who are content to measure and target everything related to poverty, but not poverty itself? Mr Speaker, um, the, the member misrepresents as usual. So what the situation is, is I'm not, I'm not debating whether we should have a measurement. I'm not debating whether or not. I'm saying we've got plenty of measures and the measures are there. I'm saying actually the country doesn't need an academic argument on which measure one chooses. What they need is action. What they need is the real consequences that are happening in their streets and that's what this government is addressing through the budget initiatives that we've seen and the work that's been going on for the last four and a half years. Oh, Question number eight, Brendan Horan. Order. Thank, thank you, Mr. Order. Speaker. Order.